What's up ladies and gentlemen of the internet? Pixelbane here. Glad to see you all again for my second vlog. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm making another one. I've actually recorded a shit ton of myself talking to this camera today, trying to think of what I could possibly say. I could talk about video game news, like stuff on Kotaku about like, uh, is video games desensitizing people? Is it? I don't know. I talked about a German study about people, but I don't want to get into it. It's kind of dumb. I don't care. Uh, so I don't even know what I'm going to be really doing with these. I don't even know if I'm in frame. And I also realized the last video I had it in 4x3, so now it should be in a larger... Oh, wow! Look! There's my stuff. You probably can't see it. But anyway, I have, in a, I have it in the widescreen aspect ratio now. So I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon recently. Um, I've been trying to get shinies through uh, abusing... Not abusing... By using Poker Radar, you know, if you remember Poker Radar from Diamond and Pearl. They reintroduced it. It's just as annoying for me because apparently I'm really shit at it. I only can get chains up to like 15 and at that point I either choke or I'm just fucking retarded and I just break the chain. But I've gotten shinies because I'm pretty damn sure they increased the shiny chance in, uh, in the Pokemon Safari. So I have a shiny, uh, a couple shinies. Um, but that's not the point of this video. Um, I've also been playing, uh, uh, an ugh, wow, sounded like I said anus. Ace Attorney 5 for the 3DS. And, oh my god, I love it so much. The Ace Attorney series is amazing. If I wasn't going to school for something else, I would have become a lawyer just because of Phoenix Wright. Kind of joking there. Just a bit, though. Honestly. Just a bit. I know. I know lawyering and becoming a prosecutor is completely different from the game. I'm full well aware of this fact. I don't know. I just, I just, I don't know. It just made me want to become one anyway. But I don't know what this video is going to be about. I decided to pick this out just to show it off. This is a game that I found at Goodwill a while ago. By a while, I mean a long time ago. I don't know if it's coming in screen. Yeah, let's move it up forward. This is, as you can see, Forbes Corporate Warrior. What is this game, might you ask? Wonderful question, Internet. It is a game where you buy and trade stocks and you shoot people. It is a first-person shooter in which you buy and trade stocks. Sadly, though, I've only played this game once, and I only could play it once. It was way ago, long ago, when I said I got this game a long time ago. I got it back when, I think, it was Windows XP? Wait, does this run on Windows XP? Yeah. I think I played this, yeah. I played this on Windows XP. I went to Goodwill, I was going for a Halloween costume or something, and I put it on Windows XP. And I was young, as you can imagine. I had no idea what I was doing. I was seeing stocks, I had no idea how stocks work. I didn't know what stocks were. It was a complete foreign concept to me, and I couldn't get past the first level. I think the first level is a tutorial. Ever since then, when I refound my copy, I was like, I gotta play this. I can't get it to run because I don't have the correct DLL files or directories or what, not, what have you. But this game, oh my god, I would love it. Because business is war, mind you. Um, I'm half tempted to get a really shitty computer and install XP on it. And then just record the footage from that. But see, yeah, you can... Uh, Oh, you think there's supply and demand for thrifty goods and luxury goods. Yeah, man. And then here are the controls. You can increase debt or decrease debt. Hopefully you can see this. I have no idea how clear this is. I'm going to move it up forward. But yeah, this game. Holy crap. There's carpet baggers that are the con and undercutters. There's multiplayer. You have to set the monitor to 256 colors to improve the game speed. Oh my god. I remember these enemies. They actually don't look like humans, obviously. They're just like, here's a roaming building that comes and attacks you. I really want to do a Let's Play on this. Even though I'm not really good with Let's Plays, I think I'm a little bit better now. But I would love to play this. Yeah, Windows 95. So I think I'm pretty sure this ran on XP. Because it was designed for Windows 95. Business is war. Cash is ammo. Blast your way through the futuristic world where you compete for wealth and power. 
in the virtual corporate universe of the not-so-distant future, mind you. Competitors are deadly, and you are only safe... <coughs> well, that's hurting my throat. And your only safety net is the internet. There's, there are dozens of futuristic cyber weapons, dozens of inte intelligent competitors, light lightning fast, true 3D worlds, live real time news events, head to head play over internet or LAN. Based on 15 years of empirical data from an internationally recognized business simulation firm. Who wouldn't want to play Forbes Corporate Warrior? Quite honestly, I would love to play this game again. Being older and hopefully wiser, I would be able to probably get past the first level. But if I remember correctly, the graphics were actually shit. Despite being even a fit, uh, Windows 95 game uh, produced in 1999. Uh, no, 1997. Sorry. I, still, I would have expected a little bit more from it. But... I love this game, even though I've only played it once. It's like the crown jewel of my video game collection, because it's so fucking weird.